It was a bright and peaceful morning in Sidelick Town. All the licks had their jobs. Timmy was taking passengers on his train into the mountains. Tommy was mowing the lawn. And Billy was to push some defective TVs to the scissor yard. But when he arrived, he gasped at how many carts he would have to push. That's three whole TVs, cried Billy. Jeff pulled up alongside. What's wrong, Billy? he asked. Just look at how many TVs I have to take to the scissor yard, Billy shouted. Doesn't Corey remember what happened when I tried to push just one? I do, responded Jeff. How long exactly were you taped together? I sure hope I can do it, Billy shivered. Don't worry, Billy, said Jeff. I'll come by and help after I deliver some fruit to the supermarket. As Jeff drove away, Billy began to think. I didn't want Jeff to think I can't do it alone. I don't need help with everything. Billy went to the grease galley for some lunch. I'll have the usual, Mac, said Billy. Surprisingly, Mac raced back and forth across the kitchen as he whipped up a cheeseburger. He finished in a record of 10 seconds. How did you do that? cried Billy. Oh, it's this new potion Mike made. For once, he's done some good. It gives the user super strength and super speed for a short time. Billy was excited. With that potion, he thought, I can transport those TVs without Jeff's help. I'll be Super Billy. Mac, do you have any of that potion left? Billy asked. I have about a cup left, replied Mac. Do you need it? I sure do. Please, can I have it? Of course, said Mac, but please be careful. I nearly smashed the stove after my first cup. I'll be careful, reassured Billy. Mac reluctantly handed Billy the last of his potion. Billy wondered if he should go find Jeff and tell him they didn't need help after all. I'll probably get back before Jeff returns, Billy told himself. I'll tell him then. Billy approached his carts. He drank the potion and was ready to go. But when he put his hands on the handlebars, the carts quickly rolled forward. Oh my, screamed Billy. The carts smashed into the bench. Crumbling crayons, cried Billy. I can't believe you're in a mess less than a minute after I gave the potion to you, screamed Mac. Look what you've done. One cart tipped over and its TV broke. Billy felt terrible. As he tried to pull the other one out of the bench, Jeff arrived. Wow, cried Jeff. What happened, Billy? Mac let me use his strength potion, but it got too strong and got in an accident, he said. Why didn't you wait for me to help? asked Jeff. I wanted to do it on my own, he replied. I don't want you to think I can't do anything by myself. Nonsense, Billy. There are several things I know you can do by yourself. Like what? asked Billy. Well, you push the carts back for Gary every evening by yourself, he replied. And you can certainly shop and drive by yourself. Huh, I suppose you're right, Billy murmured. I am, said Jeff, but this is something you do need help with, and I'm almost finished with my own job. I'll be right back to help you. Billy smiled. So Jeff finished his job and then helped Billy back up. They took one TV at a time together. Soon, all three TVs, as well as the crushed one, were in the scissor yard. Corey was very pleased with their teamwork. I'm guessing you learned something today, said Corey. I sure did, replied Billy. I learned to ask for help when I need it. And I learned how easy a job is when the help is used, added Jeff. Jeff and Billy then walked happily home.